okay, Neil, I receive many messages from your students, not even my, stu my students, okay? Or maybe both. They're asking me, when will you release the CCNP Enterprise course? And I know, I, and I, I know what you will answer. You will have, you already have part of it in Flockbox, but not yet in Udemy, right? Yeah, that's right. So you will probably release the full version of it, both in Flockbox and Udemy. It will be slightly S cut down version in Udemy. Well, okay, we can say it will be the full course in Udemy, but on my own website, the full course, but plus bonuses as well. Additional oh, like your CCNA. Yeah, I'll do it exactly the mm -hmm. same way as the CCNA. So on Flatbox, it will have a lot of, it's actually a lot of additional lab exercises. Mm -hmm. Like I was saying earlier with the Encore, it goes into the debugs as well. Mm -hmm. So the lab exercises are, are actually quite a lot longer. So I'm guessing it's going to be, it will be several hundred pages extra lab exercises on Flatbox. Also, the quizzes will be just on my own website as well. But on Udemy, there will be the videos will be on there and the configuration labs. So the, the troubleshooting labs will just be on the main, on my own website. Cool. This is CCNP Enterprise, Encore yep. Plus NRC. Encore to start with. I don't know if oh, I'll right. actually, I, I probably will do an RC later but it's taking me so long to make courses now, especially Why? this one. Well, one... Because it's not pandemic anymore. Really the, it's actually faster creating courses during the pandemic. Yeah, sure, because I'm <laughs> stuck in the studio all the time. Yeah, it, but it's not just that. The Really, the one criticism I ever got about the CCNA course is people wanted it to be more in depth to have more information when i made that course i wanted it to be hyper focused on getting people to pass the exam so i give them that exact information nothing more nothing less with the encore because it does take them up to the next level it's also the the written exam for the ccie as well mm -hmm. so i go into a lot more detail the course is actually going to be quite a bit longer so it's it's taking me a long time to do it because there's a lot a lot of extra content the lab exercises are much longer i'm actually having to research the topics as well because i'm going really deep into them i'm i'm researching and i'm making sure that that i know absolutely everything about each technology before I actually write the slides and then produce the videos and do the lab exercises. I see, that's interesting. So you're designing it for your students to prepare for CCIE. For both, for yeah. so to- it, Not just CCNP, but also for CCIE. Yeah, it's actually worked out like that. That wasn't really my intention at the start. It, I was probably thinking, okay, just for the Encore exam, mm -hmm. but it's just the way that it's evolved like for instance, um, the section I'm on right now is MSTP, the multiple spanning Correct. tree protocol. And part of that is having regions and there's hardly any information online about why regions even exist and also how BBTUs flow between different regions, what the best practice is for setting it up, which VLANs should go in, what instances, et cetera. Anyway, I'm getting, see, I'm already getting too deep just discussing it here. <laughs> so for actually doing that section, it's, it's actually taken me a few weeks just researching it because there's very little information and I want to I wanted to have that perfect information inside the course. All right, so that is Encore. So what's yes. next? Let's, let's say you publish the course in full version in a couple of months or three months. So sure. what's next? After that, I will probably chill out for a bit. And then the next one would be an RC is what would make sense. Because just like there's a lot of overlap between Encore and CCNA, there's a lot of overlap between an RC and, and Encore. Encore. Yes. Also, for the CCNP Enterprise, the two most popular exams are Encore and NRC. So it just, it, it makes sense that that is the course I would do next if I do get around to doing that. 
Yeah. And, and many topics in CCI, CCIE Enterprise includes in NRC. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's funny because NRC is supposed to be the, the troubleshooting part of it, but Encore goes into all the troubleshooting as well. Mm -hmm. So I've looked, I haven't read the whole book yet for NRC, but I've, I've gone through and I've looked at the, diff, the contents in there and it, it's, it's very, very similar to Encore. There, it just seems like there's just some more troubleshooting examples. I, I think there are more multicast. Uh, BGP is a little more advanced. Yeah. And uh, I think they also add eVPN and D DNAC, the SDA, the, uh, what's that? Software Defined Access Technology of Cisco. Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> I think they added in NRC. I I'm not really sure. Okay. But so, Encore, you will publish it soon, and then NRC. Probably, yeah. Another thing I'll be doing is updating the NetApp course. That hasn't I, that hasn't been done for a while, and the reason is, well, actually, the the technology hasn't really changed, mm -hmm. so I haven't needed to update it. But there has been several minor new versions of ONTAP, which is the storage software from NetApp. Um, when it went 9.8, then 9.9, .9, and I thought, okay, so the next version minor will be, yeah, the minor change. So my course is on ONTAP 9. So the major version is ONTAP 9, a minor version would be 9.1 .1 or 9.2 or 9.3. When it got to 9.8 and then 9.9, .9, I expected the next one would be ONTAP 10, mm. right? But no, it went to 9.91, 9.912, um, or, or whatever the latest one is. And like um, it's a minor feature release. Yeah, it's always just minor mm. releases. So it, again, it's a load of work to produce a whole course. I'm not going to do a, a complete update of the course for a minor software update. So when on top 10 does eventually come out, then I, I will do a complete update of the course then. So I'm, I'm not sure I haven't been given information when that will happen, but that is something that I, I definitely plan on doing. Okay, speaking of AWS, have you any, or have you thought about creating AWS courses? No, no? because, well, this is a thing, <laughs> see, that once a particular topic has already got good courses out there, it's it's quite hard to to break through mm -hmm. and be successful selling that course. I am doing this as a business. I do need to make money doing it, and it's a, an absolute ton of work to make a course. So I would only ever if I'm making like a forty hour long course. That's not just forty hours of work. That's months and months mm -hmm. of work. So if I'm going to put months and months of work in, I want to make sure that it is going to be a successful course that a lot of people are going to get it and benefit from it. AWS right now, Stefan Marek is actually the guy that's mm -hmm. got the, the top courses there. Right. He's an excellent instructor. His courses are great. Um, Very popular. On, yeah, yeah, all of their super his courses popular. popular. Honestly, he's, he's done that good a job with those courses. I, I don't think I could do it any better. I could maybe match it, but I wouldn't really be improving on it because his courses are already great. When I did the CCNA course, there was not a lot of CCNA courses and I was already teaching CCNA full-time in the classroom and what was available then, I, I did actually think I could do a better job. Mm. So I don't mean that in a <laughs> big-headed way, but just what was available, especially on Udemy, there were some good courses there, but I, there wasn't really an, an amazing course yet. So I thought, okay, I can do Less this. Less competition. I, I thought, yeah, I, I thought I, I can I can be the best course here. And you with did it, well. Yeah, I did, yeah. did well, yeah. Mm -hmm. with, with AWS, there's already great courses there. Mm -hmm. I, I think they're already close to perfect, so I, I can't really improve on what's already there. All right, good. Okay, so this is about Cisco. Uh, oh, I, and another thing about that is. All right, all right. Go ahead. Oh, are we still go. Oh, okay. So, and another <laughs> thing is, 
AWS, like I said, they, they come out with new features so regularly and also the existing features, it seems like they're, they're making minor updates to the GUI, the, the actual user interface for them so regularly that I, I just feel like I would be inundated with student questions, also inundated with requests to update the course practically every week. And I think that would just be a, that a will be a lot of crazy amount of work. Yeah. yeah. With the CCNA, it's it's a lot more static. It maybe changes every few years, but that's it, like every few years. So I do get a lot and of questions. And those changes because, will not be major yeah, for not, CCNA. Yeah, not major. And because it, it, it's all done at the command line, mainly, it's not a graphical user interface with a web interface that the vendor is going to be changing all the time. So I don't the have UX to... The UX... Probably yeah. different from the previous version versus yeah. the current version. Which I yeah. think is a problem in AWS. So I'm, the guys that are, that are already teaching AWS, I'm not sure how they deal with that now. Maybe they are putting out new updates to the course every few weeks. Uh, I, would, I would find that to be a crazy workload.